what is going on with you all thank you for tapping with me again today and if you're new to the channel my name is cleveland so um let's take a little step back of me coming from the fish store quite a collection in hayward california wanted you to see what we picked up okay what did we get from aquatic collection yeah we got this yellow edge he's a small guy too we're gonna put him in the 37. okay yeah catch you at home all right so now that you just seen what we got we are now home and we are going to acclimate this yellow edge eel and put him into this 37 gallon so let me go ahead and get this guy acclimated real quick it's late and we're gonna move him in so far all we have in there is our skeleton eel so hopefully they get along skeletor. yeah our skeleton eel skeletor oh he's a skeletor eel Thank you, babe. So they are close in size. Yeah, he's a little guy. Look at him. Yeah, he's a little guy. I think I honestly think that they're really close in size. So we gotta acclimate this guy. And then he's going right into there. So while we acclimate them, I want to, where's my, right there behind you, need my cart. So while I acclimate them, are you behind me? You are. I thought you were off to the side of me. So while I acclimate them, I want to go ahead and seal up everything to make sure this guy don't jump out i tell you one thing these yellow edges they are jumpers a few people yeah he's not going to be able to jump out though i'll tell you that that's a fact he's not going to be able to jump out from anywhere we're not playing that game that's what we're not going to do that's what i ain't going to do All right. Ew. So much that water doubling volume. We moving them in. Matter of fact. I do want to have that. I don't want it to take too long. So I'll pour out a little bit of this water so I don't have to wait too long for that. Also, so I don't have to pull as much water from the 37 gallon. He said that's what he ain't going to do. All right, no, Carter. No, no, no. Put that back, boy. Thank you. Carter. All right, there we go. So we're going to let this guy acclimate. I'm going to seal up this tank, and then I'll get back with you when it's time to add them in. All right, as you can see, the water has definitely doubled in volume. Now, 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 we are going to add this amazing new yellow, so my cart, this new yellow edge into this 37 gallon. I hope this net is appropriate. We're gonna see. Come on. I know you a jumper. Come on, bud. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Here we go, come on now. Yeah, let's get your tail in there too. Come on, there we go. There we go, bud. Let's do it. All right. Bam, woo! That yellow edge is blinging. And he is definitely about the same side. He already went over there to go meet Skeletor.
Oh, what? Oh, okay. Trying to find somewhere to hide, huh? And from what I hear, um, he eats very well. So that's a good thing. Yeah, he's he's perfect in here. Right, babe? I, I thought he was going to be a lot bigger. I swear, the picture, the picture that he sent, the picture that he sent of this eel, I had no idea he was this small. And it's definitely some streaks. I could clean them off for sure. Yeah, he's way too small to go. He's sm much smaller than the snowflake. The skeletor yeah, skeletor's down there. I don't see him, but you know that's his spot. Let's go ahead and take off all these streaks real quick, y'all. Let's step with that. Yeah. Okay, hold on. See if that's something that can come on. That's probably why they said that, because he's thinking. There we go. All right, you already got you a little spot. That's cool. So hopefully there's no smoke between him and Skeletor. If it is, I don't know what we're going to do because he is a little guy. I, don't, I definitely don't feel comfortable with putting him in the 125. So hopefully there's nothing to worry about. So we got two little guys now. In this 37 gallon. Very befitting. And I see you. Trying to go into Skeletor spot. Yeah, he uh, yeah, he was. He was there. <laughs> Skeletor probably was like, nope, you ain't going in there. Why are you trying to get into that spot? Mm-hmm. Such a cool eel, though. You still think he's big enough to eat a uh, Skeletor? No. <laughs> so, I think it's going to be good. We'll go ahead and uh, and do some watching tonight look at that beautiful look at his eyes i really like his eyes though they're like orange yeah i love the the yellow streak it looks lime greenish but mm -hmm. it's called the yellow age so. yeah you definitely gotta find your own spot but i probably should go ahead and well, he's small enough he could make his own way yeah. But I might just. But for whatever reason, he's trying to get in Because that's a real good spot over there. That's why. So what I will do is. Excuse me, babe. What I do want to do is. Oh, there goes Skeletor. I want them to meet. Let me know how this oh, go. Oh, there we go. They just met. Keep trying to get in there, huh? So what I think I want to do is I want to give him another little honeycomb hot out. I think that will be best. And so all a honeycomb hot out. <laughs> like how this made up that name. But a honeycomb. Like I thought it was with this, a real because it's like holy and stuff, right? Yeah, with this honey honeycomb hot out is going to be it's going to be something like that. So just like oh, sorry, a cave. I was focusing on Skeletor. That's all good. You were focusing on the right thing. 
but what the honeycomb hideout is going to be is just going to be a cave. That's all they really want. They want a place of refuge, dark, somewhere to retreat to. So I want to just give him that. Hey, don't do that. What was he doing? All right. I think that is I think that will be the honeycomb hideout right there. Yeah. All right. Check out the honeycomb hideout over there that I just made for him. Okay, so as you can see, just made a cluster of uh of these rocks made them kind of flat so he could actually dig his little caves or whatever he want to do let's see how he likes his little little hideout there you go get in there there you go now i kind of feel like that maybe he was doing that because he like he don't even know that there's another eel in there you know what I mean? So he could have just been like, okay, are you food or what are you? Yeah. He just moved a piece of shell. He's probably hungry. Probably is. Look, there goes Skeletor right there. You want to feed maybe some krill? Want me to bring some krill? Make a Skeletor. Um, you can. Yeah, because even on camera, I look. All right, that's what I was waiting on. Check him out. Check him out. Yeah, get in there. All right, but so he just made a little way. Skeletor and then dip back off. There we go. All right, y'all. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you're inspired by something. If you are new here, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And everybody, if y'all like the video, like the video and share the video. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace. All right, y'all. So we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share the content. Help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSD with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel behind the scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.